right, so I'm here with Shane at the SE booth. How Thank are you? Very good. Thanks for speaking with us today. So um, just real quick from me and my sort of, I'd say this iteration of my outdoor life, my camping and backpacking excursions, the SE6 for me was the knife that really kicked off this hobby in a real serious way. Uh, so first and foremost, thank you for such a thank beautiful you. blade thank and you. for Absolutely. kind of changing who I am. Um, so. What we have here today is some new products. Now, uh, one of the things about the SE6, and as great as it was, I know that a lot of people sometimes had a little problem with the slab-sided scales. Now, it was comfortable for me, um, you know, no shock in the handle, doing hard use tasks, no problem there, but some people like a little bit of a thicker grip. Now, for the recent future and up until now, the knife connection was really the place you'd go to change the feel of that knife. That's that's where you'd go for your aftermarket scales, but I think you're you're coming here today to sort of uh, bring us a little bit of a game changer. Yeah, we think so. So it doesn't matter what we do. Uh, if we do X, then they're going to wish it was Y, you know, so you please roughly half, half the people half the time. Uh, but we have had a tremendous amount of customer requests for a contour G10 scale or a contour scale. So, so what we have here is you can see that we have a nice palm swell and then also in a 3D side as well. So you get a really good hand feeling where it needs to feel uh, as far as the scale. Uh, this is new for us. We have G10 and micarta options for new knives only right now. At some point, we would like, everybody's going to ask, when, when will the scales be available? Right now, we are filling orders for complete knives. Right. At some point, that will happen. Nice. Uh, SE3, SE4, SE5, SE6 scales. Nice. Now, um, what about some of your larger blades? Do you think that this will translate into the future into your Hungless or Hungless 2? Or, I mean, is this something that you're going to continue to expand on as time goes on? Based on the customer request and the customer response we've gotten so far, we'd have to. Um, so the Hungless, the Hungless 2 and the Cleaver all use the same scale. So if we can if we can get the feel right, that covers three knives. And, and the good thing is on those knives, I feel like you're almost there already. I mean, those have a little bit more of an ergonomic handle just to begin with. So you're really kind of taking a step back to some of those other models that had more of the slab side versus the ones that are already reasonably contoured. Yeah, absolutely. So nice. Now, um, I notice you've been also playing around with some different steels. Historically, we've been in a 1095 world. Uh, you had some 440C for some select models. The but, Azula and the Ford. So what's new this year? What do you bring to the table? So this year, Patrick, can I get the solid handle too? So we are moving into S35VN for an SE3 and then a new knife called the Zancudo Fix. The Zancudo Fix is based off the popular folder that we designed for Blue Ridge Knife Company. And it's this will come in two different flavors. It will have the hole in the handle, the holy handle, and then the solid handle. Uh, purpose of the hole, you don't put your finger in here. Okay? This is because this is weight reduction, and it's also we spend so much time as a company through Randall's Adventure and Training at high angle rope rescue. Not only do you have to have the sheath firmly attached to your rigging, it's also good at times to have a tether when working at high angle. It's also good to have a tether to the knife itself because you don't want that to drop on your belayer below or somebody else. So whether you're working in rescue situations, at high angle, swift water, whatever, it's good to make sure you keep your equipment with you. Now, something else that's very important that we can kind of talk about as well is S35VN Rockwell is going to be target of 60. It's also going to have our same warranty. And so we're hitting the market with, with new steel for us. We have been testing this steel out for a long time. It doesn't matter what steel we choose, people are going to say, why not 3V, why not this, why not that? Be patient with us. We are, we are moving into new steels, right. and this is entirely new ground for us. We won't put our name on anything we don't feel good about. I'm glad you said that. And, I, you know, I've had this discussion with a lot of people. Um, people are finicky about their steel. But I always say, if you're going to be finicky, knock it off. A company's going to specialize in something, and it doesn't matter 
what it is. If they specialize in it, they're gonna get it right. So until you're ready to specialize in a new steel, why even offer it? So to your point, now that you've tested and you've prototyped and you've proven that you're willing to put your name on this S35 VN and back it by your ridiculously incredible warranty, well, now you can offer it. Now you can be confident and now your customers can get that same feeling of uh, assurance that when they bring this into the field, it's a, a product that they can trust. Well, for us, if we can't do this, then our name will never go on it. It makes a lot of sense. So traditionally, and with the 1095, this was all Rowan heat treated. Right. Um, are you moving forward now with your new steels with that same Rowan heat treat? So Rowan does all of our manufacturing. Because 1095 requires a different heat treat than what S35 does, we send our heat treat out, Rowan inspects, it's still Rowan from start to finish, we just got a vacuum heat treat in the middle. Okay, so a slightly different process from your 1095. It just, it just has to be. Yeah. Same quality control oh, at the end of the day. Absolutely, we've got, so for us, Rowan's have always been part of our company. They still obviously continue to be. They do all the blank work, they do all the sharpening work. The only thing that we send outsource is the heat treat. And then it comes back in and then a member of the Rowan family inspects everything that comes in and does final assembly and ships it out. So it, for us, it's just what, that's how the process has to work because I think it's a vacuum heat treat is what, it, what a uh, S35 needs. Yep, excellent. No, oh, that's neat. So let's talk about this real quick. I mean, you got this uh, no questions asked lifetime warranty. You got some interesting uh, display up here. Right, right. So uh, now what you see here are not bullet holes or bullet shots, although we, this is a weld mark on the back side. Uh, house fire warranty. Uh, obviously, baton and a cinder block warranty. Something's going on here. I don't know how in the world people break fives and sixes, but it happens on, on rare occasions. Uh, the remnants of a five here. Uh, another burn blade here. Um, we have uh, this this particular knife is just kind of cool to me. This section is because we had people that lost everything in a home in a house fire. He found this, and, and so we were able to give him just a small piece of his world bike prior to the fire. So that's us. If we build it, we're going to stand behind it. So again, Shane, thank you very much. I appreciate your time today. I hope you guys are enjoying these products. A look at SHOT Show 2020, SE's new releases. Got some pretty amazing stuff coming up, man. So, thanks, so. Thank y'all.